Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, my Geek Padres, what's going on? Welcome to another Trading with RWC. This week, we're going to be taking a look at a trade that was recommended to me by a good friend of mine, uh, Brian, Emski361. Um, you can check out his channel down below in the description. Uh, there's a link there. And this book is The Mercenary Sea, Volume 1. Okay, Mercenary Sea Volume 1, uh, done by Kel Simons and Matthew Reynolds. Um, at first, I was kind of iffy about the artwork, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let me show you what we're kind of working with here. Very kind of, um, I don't know, like, I got like... <sighs> computer animated movie feeling from it um but after i was reading it i got really used to it and ended up really really enjoying it um what we have here is a story about a man named jack harper uh who um is the captain of a submarine in the 1930s i believe the late 1930s um while japan and china are in the middle of war um, this book is really fantastic in the way that it blends certain things that I really, really like. Um, you get, um, like an Indiana Jones feel from it because he is obsessively looking for a island full of treasure, pretty much. Um while you get a Firefly, the TV show, feel from it. Because while looking for this island, they are taking this ragtag crew uh, on this beat-down boat uh, around just doing odd jobs for people that will pay money for it. And then you also get kind of a slight James Bond feel from it because the main job that they take in this volume is rescuing a spy. Um, so you get like the, the spy feel for it. Um, it's really fantastic. Um, very humorous. Here, I'm going to set this down so I stop waving it all over the place. Um, there's a whole lot of humor in it, uh, which I found really great. Um, a really, really good sense of adventure in it. Um, and one thing I really did like, now I picked it up again, uh, was when, um, so it's, it's mostly like full on color, but when there's anything to do with like being in the ship, it's like this blue tone, black and white kind of thing and I did really enjoy that I thought that was pretty neat um and then you get like flashbacks and different tones and um just really cool um as far as the story it's pretty much what I said like in the middle of a war they go to rescue a spy who's being held captive who has gotten intelligence um on I believe it's the Japanese who are trying to develop uh, an airplane that can wield a torpedo. Um, and just this relationship kind of develops between Jack and Top Hat, the code name for the spy. Um, and then we begin to see like 
the human side of Jack instead of the treasure hunter side with uh, some Chinese women that were taken by the Japanese and kidnapped and were going to be, I forget what they called them, like women, pleasure women or something like that. Um, and he's, he vows to save them. Um, really cool. Um, there's this, this, uh, island of natives that Jack knows that, uh, is really funny because y you think that they're going to like kill them, but Jack brings them popcorn in a movie, uh, and they love it. It's, it's kind of, that's funny. Um, but yeah, it's just, a, it's a really, really good story. I really enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, so if you get the chance, pick it up. It's an image book. Um, it's an image volume one, so it's 10 bucks and it feels really thick for an image like first volume. So I don't know if it's the normal five issues or if it's six actually. Uh, let me see if I can find it. One through six. Yeah, it's, it's the first six issues. Um, and it's really, really great. Um, I enjoyed it quite a, quite a bit. Um, let me see if I can find another page that really shows the art. There's one thing, like I said, with the, like how it looks computer animated, like movie, like one thing that happens that kind of bugged me about the art was all the backgrounds are blurred. So you have the foreground of the characters, but all the black backgrounds are like blurry. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all like that. So it's kind of, mm. but after a while I got used to it and started enjoying it. So like that right there, you can see how there's no real clear line definition to the trees in the background. It's all blurry. Um, but still, really, really cool. Really enjoyed it. Um, I recommend it uh, if you're if you're in the mood for that type of stuff, as I spoke about. Um, so yeah, give it a shot. It's it's totally worth it. Ten bucks is super awesome. And if you go to in stock trades, I'm sure it's something like eight or seven dollars. So um, definitely give it a shot. It's really cool. I don't know how far they are as far as um, like singles. But uh, I, this is going to get added to my like trade weight list um, because it's, it's definitely worth it. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my review of the Mercenary C Volume 1. Um, give it a shot. Check it out. Uh, and give uh, MSG361's channel a shot. Um, great guy. Has great videos. Um, and, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.